It's the 27th of the 4th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Freak mini tornado damages homes in Rugby, United Kingdom. High winds have ripped through Warwickshire town, blowing the roof off of one home and damaging others in what residents have called a mini tornado, and they've been having some severe weather up there for sure. Uh, strange things happening, uh, especially with that total oil or uh, gas leak going on off the coast of Scotland, and uh, your weather is affected for sure. Massive Siberian oil spill leaves thousands without water. A giant oil slick is flowing along Russia's uh, Angara River in the southeastern Siberia. Authorities have declared the situation an emergency with some 80,000 people stranded without water. Uh, apparently some people were siphoning into diesel. Uh, a few thousand tons leaked into the river and uh, got into the water intakes for these people's potable water systems. Fukushima mutations, question mark, third plant species with mutations found in third Michigan location. Uh, this is a story deeming off of Itchy's discovery. Uh, we'll attach a link to her video as well. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, Arctic ice melting from below reveals satellite. Underwater volcanism is also uh, sublimating portions of Antarctica ice mass from underneath. In 2004, a research team aboard a research vessel, Lawrence M. Gould, made a remarkable discovery of a massive underwater volcano off the coast of Antarctica. Using a deep water submersible vehicle equipped with a, a carried of sensors and video cameras, the volcano was about 2,300 feet or 700 meters tall. Uh, the British team's finding confirmed the volcano was still active and was contributing to the melting of the ice sheet from beneath the Antarctic landmass. And again, um, there are things under the water we still don't know about. And more volcanoes, more volcanoes. And uh, they've got the story, Poison Skies Hanging Over Japan is a Fukushima nuclear crisis that is far from over. And if you've been following this channel or many others, uh, you would say what an understatement that really is. Uh, let's just go ahead and go over to the uh, nuclear stuff, e, e News. Highest hydrogen levels of the year inside reactor number two containment vessel. Uh, this is the one they've increased water to due to leakage. Uh, they're not really saying where the water is going. Uh, now we have hydrogen levels uh, at the highest uh, so far in 2012. you got to remember they can't get near reactors number one or three um, to see anything at all and um, all that information is based off of Westinghouse computer models uh, so the situation is very far from over in Fukushima Minichi publishes report on thyroid cancer 30 percent in Fukushima now with tumors of two centimeters or less thyroid gland only five centimeters by three centimeter total claims cancer increases after 10 sieverts of radiation dose so Japan okay Okay's uh, 10,000 millisieverts. Black substances, over 500 microsieverts detected 70 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi. Um, these black substances, I've got to say, it's, it's got to be the ash in the air. They, they can't be catching all of this. Government says thousands in Fukushima need immediate psychological care after filling out survey. Trouble sleeping and concentrating, I imagine, uh, the stress the people of uh, Fukushima City are under. Plutonium detected in black substance from Manaso Sonoma. So uh, plutonium, I uh, believe 238, was detected. And that's that dirty MOX fuel, that dirty MOX fuel. Government, almost impossible to restart nuclear, uh, Japan nuclear plant to Sugura. Reactor will tilt if, it, if the fault moves, chances virtually nil. Uh, they're trying to fire up a nuclear reactor they built right on top of a seismic uh, fault line. Gunnerman features on PBS. Yay, PBS. Host, growing movement to keep California's San Onfray nuclear plant shut down permanently. Now, this is the one that's been having all the problems with their fuel rods uh, because they switched out to a newer, cheaper version. And uh, they're disintegrating a lot faster than uh, 
they ever thought possible. And uh, they got some pretty horrific uh, f photography out of um, Belarus um, after the Chernobyl incident as far as uh, the mutations to human beings, that kind of thing. Sevenfold increase in radioactive cesium being released from reactor number two during April. There's some fusion going on in there. China syndrome, China syndrome. And Russian government radio. The number of victims has reached one million people today. Consequences of Chernobyl meltdown are endless and uncontrollable. There are parts that they say will never be resettled. And uh, Japan still playing games, still playing games. Finally tonight I got one um, story coming off the EXSKF blog site, uh, fairly reliable since the Fukushima has started. Radioactive Japan, small children polish mailboxes in high radiation area of Date City. The horror never ends. I posted a video of a peach juice can from Date City in Fukushima the other day. The juice had 34 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium. Now here's a photo of kindergarten children in the same Date City cleaning a mailbox in appreciation for the hard work by the mailman every day. This particular district of Date City is 50 kilometers from Fukushima nuclear power plant. The district is dotted with known hot spots uh, with elevated radiation. Many locations uh, measured by the city exceed one mic microceiver per hour, one meter off the ground, some exceeding three microceivers per hour last year. Uh, that didn't stop this particular kindergarten from going through with the routine of thanking the mailmen. I wonder if they did this last year also. Insane. So we're having beauty contests for uh, girls who only eat food from Fukushima Prefecture. And they've got kindergarten kids cleaning up nuclear waste and fallout. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.